Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. So, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out my openings. Still been just having too many other priorities to learn them just yet. But um, we'll see if the hours I've spent watching other people's content, good luck will in any way help me remember how to play this game. So with both the Rook and Bishop active, I think I want to take a different tact instead of immediately having this open. Um, let's try this. So it's true, my Rook's kind of on a curious square, but I think it's fine. And sure, I'm already playing as Gota, and I'm sacrificing a tempo here, but again, I think it's okay. Hmm. What's going to protect this square? What in the world is this? If the scold moves forward, I trap a bishop. So... Um... Maybe even if it doesn't, I might still trap a bishop. I think I'm still down one tempo as, uh, as compared to ordinary opening lines, but I think it's fine. Also, what are they going to do with all the tempi they've saved up? They have to do something. I could just push this. Wait, no, my rook taking this would not be smart. So, okay. I will unblock my bishop. Um, so my bishop can move here. All right. We seem to be have have been led down this path. And I'm not going to fight it. Um yeah, if this is the path that is destined for us, then we'll follow it. Um, if I push and start exchanging here, I do have a pawn in hand. This could be okay. Well, no, this has to work, because everything else is going to fail. So, this is the plan. This is plan A.
it's not terribly subtle, but uh, what else am I supposed to do here? Okay. So now that I know this pawn's not advancing, uh, we move the silver out. That's a tactic. I'm sure there's a follow-up somehow. I don't see it. I'm down all, well, 30 seconds. But yeah, our opponent's been playing kind of aggressively <laughs> with respect to the clock, so it's kind of exciting. Um... If I let them take here, I'm in deep doo-doo, so whatever the alternative is has to be my best move. Nanafun. Unless I have a mate, but no, there's, there's no way. So, oh no, they got to check me. Whatever. Um... This is... I mean, in fairness, this is not a terrible plan on their part. It does force me to react. Uh, there are many forcing moves. Yeah, I know, right? Um... It's not easy for me to find a good move here, however. All the good moves are taken. I think this, unironically, is my best move. Mm-hmm. But yeah, maybe I shouldn't have played this edge file attack, because it gave them a lance. And maybe that lance will somehow be my undoing. Maybe I should have just dropped the bishop here. I missed that this was threatening to promote. But, um... I thought if I dropped my bishop here, they'd drop something here. I guess I could have... Con well, that's not check at this point. Because that's silver... Yeah, okay. Yeah, there was too much for me to figure out. And I was down on time. And I have every excuse. But let's get results, not excuses. Um... So I just take the knight, I guess, to do something else first. Um, yeah, let's take this. Okay. That's pretty cool. I see what they're up to now. Gofun. I guess we'll allow it. I missed that. Um. Hmm. Yeah, that's powerful stuff. Hmm. 
Nope. Can't do that because I'd get mated here. Um. Yeah, this is not super great. Okay, let's pretend to try to survive this. That is a good move. They were prepared for this situation. That is a... Uh, goodness. Um... Or at least it looks quite excellent. Um, yeah, what if I take this? Sorry, I'm missing something. I'm tempting fate here, but I kind of have to. If gold drop, I just take the gold. My king has no escape route, but does it need one? It's not like I'd escape anywhere anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, Something. I might not might not be surviving this. I might not be surviving this. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's just let this go. <laughs> Nicely played. It's one down, two to go. Yeah, my engagement on the edge file, uh, apparently when I'm not ready, was the strategic error. I don't know that I ever could have been ready. Good luck. Much of that opening is about... Um, it's about landing the first punch and a pretty heavy one at that. So, okay, this is odd. The psychological war has begun. All right. So just as a reminder, today's proverb was entice the gold diagonally forward. Um, usually because that weakens its ability to protect against anything. Oh, I should be moving the silver in this opening. Like, that's a pretty fundamental aspect. Oh my gosh. Alright, whatever. Let's do it. No sense in being subtle against a two-don opponent. Um. Usually the opponents move this. Um. 
This opponent hasn't. I thought some tactic might appear here. Owing to this curious move order. Um, I still think so. Whatever, let's try it. I'm so curious. If nothing else, we've got a novel position, something that's not been seen before, so um, we can enjoy that a bit. Okay, <laughs> now I guess that makes sense. Maybe I should have exchanged here and then... Okay. Stuff is happening. I don't know how to evaluate stuff. I think I have to take this now. Or things can get bad with the silver chomping down on my castle. Um, I think silver takes is best, uh, but it does leave a weakness here that's kind of hard for, well, yeah, I guess silver takes would leave this hanging, um, which would not be smart. Uh, this is aiming at my king. One of the proverbs we saw earlier today was don't leave the king on the bishop's diagonal. Um, it appears I don't have much choice here, however, since the king is already on the bishop's diagonal. Um, yeah, so I don't know what we do about that. I keep hesitating to advance the silver because then there's rook invades quite easily. And I hesitate to do anything else because other moves just ruin my position. Um, but maybe I need to lift the rook, push this, push this, exchange the pawns, exchange the pawns over here, and then somehow get my... what? What's this? Okay, this is a bold grab at this point. It makes sense, though. I don't have a great way to defend that. Well, no. I defend that with the rook. Um... <laughs> I guess I'm exchanging my rook for a bishop here, or, well, no, the bishop can't hit this point and this point at the same time. So if they move the bishop, I can actually duck back and hold this. Uh, 
They're one move away from being able to grab a pawn for free. But right now they are not able to grab a pawn for free. Um, this is a weakness, so this, I guess, is where I should push, but golly, it's a bit weakening. I don't need to respond to this with this, but they didn't need to play this in the first place. Nanafun. Hmm. This is retreating, but my position's not great. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, okay. We'll reluctantly put this on the diagonal. Because bad things could happen if this diagonal gets completely open. I guess this also gives my king somewhere to run to. I could also have pushed this pawn and moved up the king, which would probably be a smarter approach somehow. I guess I could still do that. Instead of ducking back into the middle of, like, the rook takes here, the land takes here, I don't know. There's all kinds of problems with my king being in the bottom row. And if the king is up a row, maybe it's not so much of a problem. On the other hand, this now means, like, everything's a weakness, so that's kind of cool. Okay, that's surprising. Um... Actually surprising. I must have done something to entice this. Wait, what? What's this about? Hmm. Hmm. Have I miscounted? I've miscounted, haven't I? Okay, if they can play Subway Rook, I can wonder. Surely Subway Rook is available as a strategy for me, too. Although, like, this has been hanging for some time, and I just noticed that it's hanging. I wonder how long it'll take 
the opponent to notice that this... Well, if silver, silver, knight, I drop a silver. They have to protect the knight. They can arguably win a pawn here. Yeah, they spotted it. Um... Go for it. Uh Oh, nice move. Um Yeah, I'm reading this just as quickly as they're playing it. I am up a minute against a two Don opponent, so that means I'm not playing right. Unless I'm winning, which I'm not. <laughs> um, so Subway Rook failed. My Rook is anything but on their side of the board. Um, Yeah, this is dangerous. Mm hmm. Well, they're going to take all my remaining pieces while continuing to check me. Um. This is heavy. Like, unless they have a tactic in mind, this is maybe too heavy. They want to have some King Rook fork with the Bishop or something crazy like that, but... Um... Oh wait, they don't have a Bishop. I've got both bishops. I knew that. They want to have a king rook fork with a gold drop here. That's what I meant. So this gold move just throws away my rook. Um, which, I mean, arguably I wasn't going to be able to save anyway, but now this is just... Yeah, there's no coming back. At least I got to take their silver. Okay, what the hell? They could have won my rook. Uh, they didn't. So I just go back? Yeah, that's not check. Not sure if you noticed that. I'll defend this point. Hmm. Sampun. Interesting. Okay, let's give up on... Well, no. Uh, what to do? Here, we'll ask the opponent for a hint. 
Okay, they don't want to exchange rooks. Actually, wait. The king is blocking the rook here. Um, that could be a problem. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We're going to gamble on this one. Unfortunately, I can't drop the ro the bishop here and then promote it all the way back here. It's just a bit too much to do that. But I can attack and defend with the bishop. They have to, like, drop here. They don't want to, but they have to. Because of this. Now they'll drop. Or they'll move this. Well, if they move that over, I have to check. Okay. Am I mated? That looks like mate. Um, hmm, that hurts. Wait, um, yeah, let's see it. Nicely done. Good game. All right, two down, one to go. I guess one thing that other English-speaking players avoid is this kind of embarrassment where they're losing the entire game. Good luck. And they know that they're losing. Um, it's this sort of embarrassment that I've somehow failed to avoid where I'll get a position that, like, just seems doomed to be lost. And then I recognize that, yeah, this is bad, but and I keep making this rationalization the entire way through the game. Um, the whole bargaining thing. And saying, well, yes, but if circumstances change, then maybe it's fine, and, you know, don't worry about it. Um... And this seems to coincide with when I'm playing openings that I don't know. Like, uh, openings where a bishop does get exchanged. I, I do play this stuff even though I don't know it. Um, yeah. Well, it's not so much that. It's that I don't want to be playing some junk opening every single game, but I'm too lazy to study. And I need to study more. Alright, we're exchanging bishops again, so that means I'm probably going to lose this game too. Um, but it's fine. So this time we're going to let the rook invade. Instead of keeping the bishop here forever. And we'll see how we lose the game this way. And maybe after losing all three games, I'll study this, but more likely I'll just ask for input about, like, what should I do instead? Okay, that's a bit silly. On the surface, anyway. Um, it doesn't... yeah, this actually doesn't change anything. Um... Yes, arguably, if they do king takes, that changes something, but they're not going to play king takes. So, I defend this way. 
Ah, right. I've seen this before. Uh, now they're going to do bishop, or silver takes, rather. I don't have any tricks here, so I'm just going to defend this point. And then they get to promote. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's part of my problem, is I just don't have anything that I'm gearing up toward. Um, so... I don't know how this happened, but um, they didn't get a dragon. So, yeah, we're just going to play a normal-ish game now. I thought they might get a dragon, but somehow they didn't. Okay, I mean, I guess, yeah, that's kind of a problem in a different way. Should I resign? Just out of embarrassment? I mean, it's a bad position, too. It looks pretty bad. I guess the good news is that I could try to play this against some opponent someday. Someday I might be the aggressor in a situation like this and curious how to take, uh, how to score the point. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Um, well, this could be worse. We'll just keep saying that, and then maybe it's true somehow. If they exchange... Yeah, they're not exchanging. Um, Alright. Interesting. I don't have anything here. This is tragic. Let's just push this. In some vain attempt to conjure up something. Nanafun. If Lance takes, I can drop a bishop. If Lance doesn't take, maybe we drop the bishop anyway, because this position sucks. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Pawn drop. Pawn drop ends my misery the fastest. Okay, we're taking the slow route today. I guess it's important to enjoy the scenery as you're winning. Somehow I hoped that I had a second bishop to drop, 
Um, because I forgot they have this piece. Oh, if I move the silver, this is actually still... Okay. Um... Yeah, okay. Nicely played. We're not going to fight on. Cool. So, was there a lesson today? I keep emphasizing that I should study openings or play openings, I know. But also that, like, I'm just too lazy to do it. Uh, I keep being encouraged to continue playing. But what's the purpose of it? I'm a bit confused. Maybe if I watch other people's videos, um, or if I watch, like, pro commentary, maybe this could give some inspiration that I am sorely lacking. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.